Today I'm going to walk you through the process of how to create your 3D model of a rocket. The rockets that you're going to be creating using SketchUp will later be uh, modeled and actually created on the 3D printer. So in order for us to get started we need to first make sure that we have our preferences set by going and opening up SketchUp which I have located right now on the screen. I'm going to go into Window, Preferences, make sure the preferences are set to architectural design millimeters hit OK if you're currently in another template you would need to uh, go ahead and hit file new for the changes to take effect so you would see a different background color if you start off with a green background and so on and so forth to get started I'm gonna click on the person delete them make sure that my toolbars reflect what you see up here at the top once again repeating how to find them go to view toolbars make sure that you have the large tool set the Google tool set and the views. Alright, hit top view. We're going to start off on the origin, X, Y, and Z origin. And we're going to trace a circle for the diameter of the inside circle that the rocket nose cone, or not nose cone, but the base is going to line up against. So I'm going to click once and start tracing it up along the green axis. And the measurement I want, this is for the lip. So the, the engine is 18 millimeters, but the lip that's going to hold the engine in uh, instead of letting it fall out of the rocket base is going to be 16. So 16 is the radius or no, not 16 is not the radius. You would need to go with 8 for the radius. And then let's zoom in. And let's just do a check. 16 millimeters. Okay, So that's good. From here you're going to do another circle right in the middle drag up, up along the green axis. This next circle is going to be 19. Not 19, that's the radius that we're doing. Um, all right. No, we're not going to go with that. Let's go with 10 as the radius. We'll go 20. And from here, <coughs> we're going to do one more circle. In this last circle, is going to be 26, not 26, 13, sorry, 13. Okay, all right, so there's everything we need uh, to get started. You can zoom in, zoom out using the wheel of the mouse. Uh, from here, we're going to draw one line so coming straight off of the origin, going out. Let's make this one 60. And that's really far out, it's okay. So I can cut it down later if I wanted to. So let's cut it down by using the tape measure tool. Measuring from here to here. It says it's 47. Let's make it 30. So how do you make it 30? Go to the move tool and move it in until you get to 30. Or if it's a little close, it's fine. There we go, 30. From here, I'm going to measure over two millimeters to enter come back down connect do the same thing going over two millimeters come back down along the green axis and connect I can erase this dimension I no longer need it from this step I'm going to basically be copying everything here and completing the array function so that I can get the 120 degrees go to the next spot that will be somewhere right here for the next fin and then another 120 degrees for the last fin and all of those 120 degree angles will add up to make up the complete re uh, revolution of the circle 360 degrees so I'm going to highlight holding the shift key down select this line this line this line this line and this line and I'm going to take the rotate tool which is right here and I need to hit the control key because I want to duplicate it we're not just rotating I want to make a, an array okay so we're going to do a duplicate and move the duplicate to another area. So I click once in the origin, click on this side, move it over, it's going to come over 120 degrees. Okay, and then I, since I have everything highlighted still, I'm going to do the same thing, hit control and come over another 120 degrees. Now for some reason I'm going to need to redraw these lines here so that they're solid and there you have it. There's your finished part 
and you're ready to move on. <clears throat> Next thing that you would do is I'm going to come off the red axis right here. I'm going to measure over 2. So I'm going to go over 2, enter. Then I'm going to do this, grab the circle tool, measure over 2. 2 millimeters is the radius. And then I'm going to go over 4. Actually, we go 3. And you see how that intersects. You can erase this line right here. You don't need it. Well, there's multiple lines there. You can erase this and erase this face. Okay. Now from here, I'm going to rotate it so that we're looking at it on an angle. Erase this face. Leave that line in there. And now we're going to start pushing parts up. We're going to move this up three. Okay. I'm going to move this part up, but see, we have some issues here. Before we move those up, let's go back and erase. Let's see if we can erase these lines now. I'm erasing these lines. Erase this one as well. Actually, I'll leave that one. Control-Z. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the rotate push-pull this up. This one goes up three. And then this one's going to go up three. But we want to go further than that. We want to go 27. So 27 plus three will give us the 30 millimeters. Okay. So I'm going to rotate this. And you can see now that I have the base created. The bottom here, you can see that it's hollow. I need to fix that. How? Just draw a new line right over top and then erase what you, won't, you don't want. Okay, so there's that. I can erase this line. I don't need this line right here or this line right here. But I will keep, actually, I will keep that line because what I want to do here is I want to click on the endpoint, come straight up. How far was the, how tall is that? It's 30. And leave that line there as well. Okay. So from here, you can do the fins. So this is where you can choose to go with a arc. If you want to round the fins, you can go with a straight line. Coming straight down all the way to the edge, coming up to here. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. I'm just going to go with a straight line, coming straight down. OK, and then you go ahead and push these out all the way to the edge all the way to the edge. If for some reason they don't all delete away, like for example if I push down to here and this edge, the edges don't delete, just grab the eraser tool, erase the edges and it'll go away. Now this, ba this part right here, this can go up uh, three or four, so let's just go with three. So three enter. And then this hole right here is going to have to line up with the hole in the top. That's for the launch lug. And if I wanted to put another one in there, I could. But I'm just going to leave it as is right now. Uh, and then I'm going to turn this whole thing into a component now. So triple click, right click, make it a component. From here, <clears throat> I'm now ready to uh, create the nose cone. So to create the nose cone, I'm going to use the circle tool. And I'm going to create a circle right here. Watch what happens if I try to make the circle. The circle is going on the, wrong or on the wrong axis. You see that? So a shortcut to make that work is to come onto a flat surface with the circle tool. Hold the shift key down so that you can save the origin. And you see that we're still, a lot, we're still moving up on the blue axis. Click once. Trace it across to the green axis. One circle there. Another circle out. And that's on top. All right. Now watch what happens. I can actually go ahead and uh, trace off I'm gonna draw a line coming off here out to because I'm doing the same thing like I did before hold it on the shift key coming out to I said four or no I said three so come up three okay and erase this, erase this line, 
And now watch what happens when I move the bottom component. Move the bottom component straight down. And now all I have left behind is just the 2D profile of the nose cone. So from here, draw my green line and go straight up. Figuring out how high I want the nose cone to be. So this is up to you. You can. I'm going to start off with a, the nose cone height. Let's say it's going to be 50. So I'll type 50, enter. So my nose cone goes up to that height right there. All right. And uh, from here, I can decide how I want that to go. I'm going to come straight out here, go up flat first. See what happened? Made a mistake there. I want to go straight up along the, the blue axis. I'm going to go up to here. And then I can connect to here. So if I wanted to arch this, I could use the arc tool. You see what I did there? I just added an arc. Use the eraser tool. And all that's left behind now is the part that needs to be revolved around the origin. Okay, revolved around that axis. Okay, so now I can erase some faces here. I'm going to erase this face here, this here. We can get rid of this line right here. Okay. And from here, I need to do another offset because I have this side, but I don't have this side right here. So I'm going to use the offset tool. Come all the way down to here. All the way on the edge here. I don't know what happened there. Let's go back to SketchUp. Bring it over to about there. For some reason it didn't give me that all the way. But that's okay. And from here we're just going to go ahead and connect which is what we did and connect straight down. Erase what we have left over. And there's any other lines there. I see one there. Okay. And then we're ready to revolve. To revolve all you do is grab the mouse pointer, select this line here, select this curve, the inside curve and the outside curve, and we're going to use the revolve tool. I'm going to need to select this one too, most likely. All right, and then use the push pull, not push pull, but the follow me or revolve tool. Click on it, and there's your nose cone. Okay, the bottom, look what happened at the bottom again. It pulled out the bottom. To fix that, just draw another line again. But this time the line has to go all the way across. And then erase what you have. Okay, there's your nose cone. There's your base. You need to go ahead and push pull this up. That goes up three. So that's for the launch lug. Now if you were to duplicate this and move it over, you could do that too. There's some problems up here, but that's okay as well. So I could just go ahead and erase some of that. And then fix some of the geometry. So you'd have to stitch up the geometry here to fix it. As you can see, I'm just retracing some of this. And it seems to be working just fine. All right, and then the down to the bottom. So that's all set up and it's ready to go. Now if I were to come into this component again and try to edit this component, I would need to draw another circle over here. Or I could draw it over here. It does not matter where it is. But I need to have it go all the way up to this top part here. Okay, Because that's what you would need for the shot cord mount. Okay. So once again, turn this into a component now, make it a component, and we have both parts and they're finished. You can change the colors if you want to, and that is about it.